Hello friends, today we are going to see how to check if a number is prime or not. So let's see. So let's first see what is a prime number. So a prime number n has only two factors means the number which has only two factors and those two factors are 1 and n. n means that number itself. So a number which has only two factors that is 1 and itself that number is called as prime number. So let's see how to check it. There are two methods. The first method is a simple method and the second method is a method which uses the square root function. So let's first see the simple method. So obviously suppose you want to check if 121 is a prime number or not. So you have to start from 2 to number 121 means up to 120 2 to 120 and you have to divide 121 by each number means let's check whether 2 divides 121 no it doesn't divide whether 3 divides 121 no it does not divide then whether 4 divides 121 no 5 no 6 no 7 whether 7 divides 121? No. 8, then 9, 10, 11. So, check whether 11 divides 121? Yes, it divides. So, 121 is not a prime number because from 2 to 120, there is a number which divides 121 means there is a factor of 121 other than other than 1 and 121 itself there is one more factor of 121 and that factor is 11 okay so this is not a prime number okay now let's check 29 see 29 okay so go from 2 see for i equal to 2 to n so from 2 to n check inside this for loop this is the if condition if n mod i equal to equal to 0 that means whether the remainder is equal to 0 as you know if the remainder is 0 then that means i divides n okay and if the remainder is not 0, then that means i does not divide n. So, let's check from 2 to 29 means number will be up to 28. So, whether 2 divides 29? No. 3? No. 4? No. 5? 6? Till 28 we will check. So, any number till 28 does not divide 29 does not divide 29. So, this for loop is over from 2 to 28. This for loop becomes over. Then after this for loop is over, we come outside for loop. And when we come outside for loop, you have to check if C, if I equal to equal to n okay because see it will start from 2 and it will reach up to 28 okay up to 28 it will go inside the for loop now for the last loop when it will be i plus plus i will become 29 i will become 29 for the last loop okay so, i less than 29 will not satisfy because n is equal to 29 and i is equal to 29. So, 29 is not less than 29. Okay. So, this for loop will end here and will come out of this for loop 
and when we come out you can see if i is equal to equal to n means i is 29 and n is 29 means i reached up to 29 all the numbers between 2 to 29 means up to 28 have been checked and all the numbers do not divide 29 okay they don't divide 29 so we can say that 29 is a prime number so then we will print it as a prime number so 29 is a prime number when we come out of for loop and i is equal to equal to n okay now so this is how we check whether a number is prime or not with this simple method but now there is a principle in mathematics like i will give you an example here see suppose 64 okay 64 so let's check from 2 so 2 divides 64 then 4 divides 64 then 8 divides 64 okay then after that we will say 16 then 32 divide 64 okay but you can see what is the square root of 64 square root of 64 is 8 so the mathematical principle says that it is sufficient to check only up to the square root of 64 means this loop i is less than n will go only up to i is less than or equal to root n okay means only up to root n you can check so if the number is 64 then i should range from 2 to 8 okay so only up to the square root of n square root of that number so why it is so because you can see if 16 divides 64 and 32 divides 64 but they are the multiples they are the multiples of 2 and 4 and 8 here okay means any one number any one of the three numbers so suppose they are the multiples of 2 i will say they are the multiples of 2 so if any number divides after the square root of that number c means 2 2 this is square root of n okay and after that there are some numbers up to n minus 1 right you have to check whether n is prime or not so 2 to root n and all numbers after root n up to n minus 1 okay so if any number after square root of n in this range if any of these numbers divide n then they must be the multiple of any one of the numbers from 2 to root n they must be the multiples so if they are the multiples of the number from 2 to root n means obviously these numbers have already divided n okay means if 16 divides 64 that means obviously when i started from 2 then 2 has divided n okay so there is no need to check after root n okay because whatever are the numbers after root n if they divide n then for sure they must be the multiple of number from 2 to root n okay so that is the principle now let's check <laughs> for 81 suppose let's check for 81 so what is the square root of 81 that is 9 okay square root of 81 is 9 right so we will check from 2 to the square root of 81 that is 9 so let's check whether 2 divides 81 no whether 3 divides 81 yes 3 divides 81 okay so this is not a prime number right this is not a prime number in this code now let's go for 113 okay now 
see this is not a perfect square so what is the square root of 113 see you can take the square root now manually we will take the square root of 113 yes so the square root of 113 is 10.63 means 10 point something so in this case you have to take the floor function means you have to take the floor value so how will be this sign here see floor floor of sqrt square root of n this is how we write it in program floor of sqrt means that is the square root of n so we will take the floor value okay so if it is 10.63 we will only go up to 10 so 2 to 10 so check whether any number from 2 to 10 divides 113 2 doesn't divide 3 no 4 no up to 10 no number divides so this is a prime number okay so in our code check after you come out of this for loop means after all numbers from 2 to 10 are over and you come out of the for loop then the similar condition you have to check if i equal to equal to now what is i equal to equal to the floor of sqrt of n plus 1 see why we are doing plus 1 for the square root of 1 see if we go from 2 to 10 here because it is i is less than or equal to then up to 10 this loop will work but when i will become 11 then we will come out of this loop so obviously 11 is 10 plus 1 so i will be equal to equal to the square root of n plus 1 when we come out of the for loop so if it is so then this number is prime we will print this number is prime we save a lot of computation in simple method we go up to n minus 1 we go from 2 to n minus 1 but in square root computation we go from 2 to root n means we save a lot of for loops so this is how we check whether a number is prime or not hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you